minus 2 times 15 times 25 times cosine of 70. And then you want to square root this. OK? Mm -hmm. That'll give you side B. And again, congruent means the angles have to be exactly the same. Um, and we don't know the third side of any of these triangles. So we may have to use sine law again here. Minus 2 times 15 times 25 times cosine of 70. And that side is 24.36. But that doesn't help us, does it? Because um, we don't know. What was this angle? It was um, 56, I believe. So sine inverse of 5 divided by 6. Yeah, this was 56. That means this one is uh, 180 minus 30 minus 56, 94. Let's find another angle on the third triangle. We know one and two are not the same. But are, is the third one same as either one of those? Let's try and find um, angle A, if we can. Actually, we, can we? No, yeah, we can. We can. We can find angle A using the Bs. Because now so. we have a pair. 24.36 over sine 70. Yeah. And that's going to be equals to 15 over it's sine of A. And again, mm -hmm. you can do this technique called cross multiplication as well. You can multiply this with this, you can multiply this with this. And that'll get rid of all the denominators. And this is how it works. 24.36 times sine A is equals to 15 times sine 70, OK? Mm -hmm. Just cross multiply. So the denominators go away. And then you want to divide both sides by 24.36 and then do sine inverse of that. So 15 times sine 70 divided by 24.36. And let's do sine inverse of this. And that gives me 35. 0.36. So that's not equals to any one of those triangles, is it? Mm -hmm. So none of them are congruent. Cool? Uh -huh. So yeah, sometimes you're going to have to use both sine law and cosine law. Let's go this one. This is a very simple question. So you're given two different triangles. It's asking you to find the height of the tree and justify it. Label the points if you want A, B, C, D, E. So this is from the similar triangles, OK? Look at the scale factor. The scale factor is 3. Do you see it? 5 and 15? Uh -huh. What's going to be the height of the tree then? 6. 6, right? That, that's easy. But the difficult part is proving that these two triangles are similar. How do you prove two triangles are similar? Um, when they have the same angles. Right. So if you see, they both have a right angle, OK? Mm -hmm. So we have angle A is equals to angle D, and they're both right angles. What about other ones? Would C be the same for both of them? Yeah, it would be the same, but we're going to have to prove that it's the same. Can we prove it, actually?
how can we prove that C is the same? This angle and this angle. Let's see if we can use some math techniques. I have to somehow turn this into a Z. I guess I should have done it like this. Yeah, no, it's going to be the same because if you cut this in half, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever this angle is, it's going to be the same thing as this angle. That means, yes, yeah, so angle C is going to be the same because it exists in both triangles. Mm -hmm. So that means triangle ABC is similar. You see the similarity symbol there, a little squiggle similar to the other triangle CDE. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they're similar, that means we can find the scale factor. So the scale factor K is going to be 15 over five. That's three. Therefore, the height of the tree is going to be two times three, six meters. And you are done. Okay. This is just a similarity um, thing. What about this one? Same question, determine the height of the tree. Do you change the centimeters into meters? Um, you could. If you do that, you just want to divide it by a hundred, okay? But you don't have to. You could. Um. Do you find the scale factor? Yes, let's find the scale factor. So what's is K going to be? 9.6. Uh, did you do this over this? Yes. Uh, 125 over 12 should be more than 10. Oh, wait. Because 12 times 10 is 120. It should be like 10.41111, I think. I can double check that. 4166, it's 10.4. Let's just say it's 10.4. So that's your scale factor. But does it matter if it's like centimeters or meters? Uh, it does not matter. Okay. So you had to divide this by 10.4, okay? I want you to divide this by 10.4 to get H. Um, 16.1. Yes, is it gonna be centimeters or meters for the tree? Um, meters. Yeah, exactly. So if you take it into um, meters, you don't have to worry about the units. But if you're going from centimeters to meters, just keep in mind that if this is meters, this has to be meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just a pretty simple, similar triangles problem. You just have to find the scale factor. This one says, use the diagram to find angle B. So angle B is here. Do you use like sine? Sine law? Mm -hmm. Do you have any pairs? 
Um, no. I mean, we do 275 and 90, but um, when it's a 90 degree, it's a right angle triangle. You don't use Sokato. I mean, you don't use sine law. This is only strictly for, you see these guys? You mm -hmm. can toss this out of the window when it's a right angle triangle. Oh, uh, okay. What do we do in a right angle triangle? It's much, much easier. Like tan, cos, or sine? Yeah, exactly, tan, cos, or sine. In this triangle, relative to angle B, what do we know? Do we know A, O, or H? Um, A and H? Yeah, exactly. A is 235 and H is 275. So is that sine, cos, or tan? Um, Cos. Cosine, exactly. So you have cosine of B is equals to the adjacent 235 over 275. Why don't you find me angle B? So it's the cosine inverse of those two, right? Mm -hmm. What does that give? Thirty-one point three. Yeah, exactly. And you can just say it's thirty-one. Okay, and there you go. That's the final answer, and it's pretty simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congruent triangles, similar triangles, Sokotoa is it's 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 basic. The difficult parts are when you have to use a sine law or cosine law, and identifying that you're going to have to use that. And let's see if that will apply to this question. Straight up, first of all, ask yourself. Is this a Soka Toa question? Is this a similar triangle question? Or is this a sine law, cosine law question? Um, Soka Toa. Correct. Two right angle triangles, right? If one mm -hmm. of those uh, triangles were not right angle, then we would have probably needed to use Soka Toa as well as one of the other rules. So they want angle X. We have two different triangles. If you remember from last time, when you have two different triangles, which side do you attack? Like the one that both of them share? Correct. So in this case, that's going to be BD. We can't do anything from the top triangle. So let's work from the bottom triangle. Do we use sine, law, uh, sine cosine, or tan to find uh, the hypotenuse there? Um. Tan. tan requires you to have um, opposite and adjacent. We do not have the adjacent. We don't need the adjacent. We're looking for BD, which is the hypotenuse of the bottom triangle. So this bottom triangle in triangle ABD, yeah, we have the opposite. I mean, opposite to this, it's 11.7. We have adjacent, we don't know. And then we have hypotenuse we don't know. This is the side BD, right? So do you use sine? Yeah, exactly. We don't have adjacent. We don't care about adjacent. So that goes out the window. Sine 52.3 is equals to the opposite, 11.7 divided by the hypotenuse, which is BD. How do we solve this equation for BD? Um, you multiply both sides by BD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, multiply both sides by BD, and then you divide. Yes, you divide by sine of fifty-two point three, so that gives you fourteen point eight. So side mm -hmm. BD is fourteen point eight. Now let's look at that top triangle in triangle 
BCD, we have the angle X relative to angle X is 14.8, the opposite, the adjacent of the hypotenuse. Um, we'll get it from this angle. Which two sides do we know in the upper one? A, O, H, relative to that angle. The opposite? Yeah, that's the opposite. What else do we know? Um, the hypotenuse? Yes. And? Um... Do we sign cos or tan? We're looking for angle X, right? O and H means? Sine. Sine, exactly. So sine of X is 14.8 divided by 15. And then we can just plug that in the calculator to sine inverse or second function sine. 14.8 divided by 15. And X is 81 degrees to the nearest whole number. Cool. You understand this stuff, right? Uh -huh. This is just um, Soka Toa, so it shouldn't be that bad. Soka Toa isn't that bad, to be honest, because there's no two ways to go about it. Uh, this is a trick question, maybe. Um, so we have a lighthouse. A, B, C. The question is, what's the distance between the sailboat and the lighthouse? So which, which line segment are we looking for? B, C. Yes, we're looking for BC. And we know AC is 100, yeah? Mm -hmm. We know there's a right angle here. If you see, there's a right angle here. So it's, we know it's a Soka Toa question, but we don't have any angles. But it does tell us the angle of depression is 28 from the top of the lighthouse. So which angle is 28? Um, is it A? This one? B, is that yes. right? No, that is wrong. If you remember, it was, the it's the outside one, right? It's always going to be from the horizontal one, okay? This is 28. Oh, okay. Even an angle of elevation, if you see something like this, this is the angle of elevation. It's the angle from the horizontal going up, from the horizontal going down is depression. So mm -hmm. if that angle A on the outside is 28, inside the triangle, which angle is 28? Um, B. Yes, you can use a Z rule because these two lines are parallel. This one is gonna be 28 degrees and there we go. Relative to 28 degrees, 100 meters is the opposite. And we're looking for the adjacent, right? BC? Mm -hmm. So do you sign cos or tan here? Um. Wait, from what angle? Oh, well, the only angle that we do know. From 28, from the angle 28, yeah? We know opposite is 100, and we're looking for the adjacent. Um. Do you use sine? Again, 
look at this. We have the opposite. We're looking for the adjacent. We don't care about the hypotenuse. We don't care about AB. OK? Mm -hmm. We don't care about the hypotenuse. So that eliminates sine and cosine. O and A is tan. You'd use tan. Mm -hmm. So tan 28 is equals to opposite as 100. The adjacent is, well, we don't know. We're looking for that A, OK? Mm -hmm. Here, let me teach you some equation techniques. Like we talked about the cross multiplication, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do. If you have 3 is equals to 2 over x, right? Something like this. See how the unknown is in the denominator? Mm -hmm. What you can do is you can swap places with the thingy on the left so that you can make this x is equals to 2 over 3. Oh. You can swap places. So what are you doing? You're multiplying both sides by x. So you have x times 3 is equals to 2. And you're dividing both sides by a 3, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll save you two steps. OK. So here, what we can do is we can straight up swap positions with this A and this tan 28. Or you could do it in two steps. So A is equals to 100 over tan 28, yeah? Mm -hmm. So 100 divided by tan 28. And the answer to this is going to be 188 meters. OK. So again, another Soka Toa problem that it uses angles of depression and elevation. Well, this one only use depression, but the point is it's always going to be from the horizontal line segment. Okay, this one is a it's artistic drawing here. Alrighty, so we're going to need the sign things. We'll we'll like pull it out. So there's a ladder here, it's 100 feet. And he's putting out a fire in the building. The angle of elevation from the firefighter to the top of the building. And we can make this A, we can say B, C, D, OK? Mm -hmm. Notice all of, both of these are right angle triangles, because angle C is 90. Mm -hmm. So the angle of elevation is 35. Which angle is 35? Um, A, B. Yes, this, this angle is 35, yeah? Mm -hmm. It says the angle of depression to the bottom of the building is 40. So which angle is 40? Um, like the one right under 35? Yes, this angle here is 40, OK? Mm -hmm. Question is asking us how tall is the building? So we're looking for the line segment BD, OK? See BD? We're looking for this. And we know BD is comprised of BC and CD, correct? Would DC just be 100 feet? DC would indeed be a 100. And the question is, how do we find BC? If you look at BC right now, we do not know any of the sides to that triangle on the top. We don't know any of the sides to a BC triangle. So step one would be to find a side that we can work with. Do you like find the angles? Um, oh, we could find the third angle. That won't help you. You want to find angle B? No, no, you, you need a side length. We already have two angles, right? That's enough to work with. We know one of them is 90. We know the other one is 35. To find BC, again, there's two different triangles. What's the approach when you have two different triangles?
Um, Attack the sides that they both have in common. Okay. So in order to find BC, first you're going to have to find CA. Mm -hmm. CA from the bottom triangle. We know this side is 100. There's the angle 40. So let's look at the triangle on the bottom, on the triangle um, ACD. We know this angle is 40, yeah? Relative to this angle, uh, which side do we know? And which side are we looking for? Um, the opposite is 100. The opposite is 100. And which side are we looking for? The adjacent. Yes. So that is going to be our unknown, yeah? So we don't do care about the hypotenuse. We do use tan. So tan of 40 is equals to the opposite over the adjacent, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a 100 on the top, and the adjacent goes on the bottom there. Now, again, whenever the unknown is in the denominator, you can just swap places with this guy. So this becomes A is equals to 100 over 1040. What we're doing here is we're multiplying both sides by A, and then we're dividing both sides by 1040. But this is a shortcut, OK? Not everyone's going to use this, but this is this will be the quickest way to get rid of the problem. So 100 divided by 1040. And that's going to be the adjacent is 119.17. So we know this side here, CA, is 119.17. Now, using that information, how do we find BC? The angles here for the triangle on the top. Um, do you use tan again? Right, so tan of 35 is equals to the opposite AC, which we don't know, divided by the adjacent, we do know. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How do we solve this for AC? You multiply by the denominator. Correct. So 119.97 times 1035. So AC is going to be 83.44. And you want to add, um, not AC, sorry. Uh, I meant to say BC. We already know what AC is, BC. So you add this with CD plus 100. So therefore, the height of the tower of the house is 183.44 meters. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Oh, let me just kill this picture. Hmm. All right, this one's going to be the most difficult one yet. a plane that is 800 meters. So we know the height of the plane is trying to land on a runway. The angle of depression to the runway is eight because this runway is too busy. It must land at the next runway, which has an angle of de depression of seven. How much further should the plane fly? Again, because this is an angle of depression question, we're going to draw a horizontal line, OK? Mm -hmm. So to the first runway, it's 8 degrees. So which is 8? Is this 8 or is this 8? The second one? Yeah, the second one is 8. So what does that mean for inside the triangle? Would this be eight or would this be eight? Um, the first one. Right. So this is eight, yeah? Actually, mm -hmm. hmm, it's a trick question, isn't it? Um, would the smaller angle be eight or would the bigger angle be eight? 
Why would the bigger angle be eight? Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. This this one must be eight. So this one is seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's label the sides. So we have A, B, C, D. So there's four sides to this triangle. Which side length are we looking for? Um, A and D? No, we're not looking for A and D. It says, how much further should the plane fly to get to the second runway? So CD? Yeah, we are looking for CD. Now, in the triangle on the inside, triangle ACD, we don't have any side lengths, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we can't work with anything there. So what's the approach in this question? Um, cosine? Right. Uh, well, actually, mm -hmm. no, this is how you do this. You first want to find BD. Okay, this is just a Sokotoa question. You want to find BD, uh -huh. yeah? Uh, and cosine uses the hypotenuse, and we don't really care about the hypotenuse. You want to find BD, and then you want to subtract BC. And that'll give you CD. Mm -hmm. So let's try and find BD. We know the height is 800. We know the angle is 7. Do we use sine, cos, or tan? Um, tan? Yes. So you get tan of 7 is equals to 800 over BD, yeah? What you want to do is you want to swap places. So BD is equals to 800 divided by 10 of 7. So 800 divided by 10 of 7. The angle is going to be 6515. Okay? Uh -huh. And then you want to do the same thing for BC. Well, BC is going to be what? 800 over 10 of 8, right? Mm -hmm. So 800 divided by 10 of 8. And that is 5692.30. So what do we do with these two numbers? Um, subtract. Correct. So 6515.47 minus 5692.30. Uh, and that'll give you well, it's 0.173248 becomes 8. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. And that's how you, you do this problem. Again, it's a Soka Toa problem, right? What you could do now, now I'm thinking about this, if you don't like Soka Toa, and I would not recommend this, you could find the hypotenuse here. You could find AC, yeah? See that? Could find AC, and if this is eight, we know this is going to be one seventy-two degrees. So this angle here is one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. We have AC, and we have its opposite angle. We have this angle up there one, and then we require its opposite side length. So you could use sine law. You could use AC over sine seven is equals to CD over sine one if you did not want to use Soka Toa twice. That is an option there because the second triangle here is not 90 degrees. Uh -huh. Are you having fun so far? Um, maybe. Now there's only one right answer to that and that is a yes. Um, kidding, of course. Let's try some more of these. These ones are pretty basic. Um, so look at the approach here. Okay, We're not going to do this, but we're just going to kind of talk about it. Sine, cos, or tan for A? Um, tan? Yes. What about B?
Um, sign. Yes, C. Coast. Yes. Are these supposed to be right angle triangles? There would be no other way of doing this, so I'm assuming yes, so we don't have to do those. Mm, I just did a question like this. Oh my God, this one's gonna be fun, isn't it? I already see this one, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. This one's gonna be a 3D question. Mm, surprised it came here, but the idea is the same, right? If you look at these two triangles, they both have one side that's common and we're gonna attack that side, okay? Maybe I need a darker color. I'm gonna go with red here. So A, there's B here, C, D. That should be enough, right? A, B, C, yeah. So they've given us a drawing and the question is, what's the height? So we're looking for side length C, B equals what? If you look at the right angle triangle on the top, we don't have any side lengths. So we can't start from the triangle on the top. What's the plan of attack in this question? Um, you have to find AB first. Correct, you have to find AB first. So to find AB, if you look at the triangle on the bottom, they use sine law, cosine law. There's only two laws, a sine or cosine law. Because you can't use Soka Toa because we have no idea. We know for a fact angle B on the bottom is not going to be 90. In fact, we can find out exactly what that is because we know the other two. Um, so it's going to be 180 minus 54 minus 51. So it's 75. So this is not a right angle. We can't use Soka Toa on the bottom. We're trying to find AB. Do we use sine law, cosine law, or the tan law? Um, sign law. Okay, how do we set this up? Um, 100 over sine 75. Yeah. Is it equals to? Um, AB over sine 51. Correct. AB over sine of 51. And now? You How do you multiply? Yeah, we're going to multiply both sides by sine 51. So 100 divided by sine 75 times sine 51. And that gives us 80.46 for AB. So we know okay. this side length is 80.46. So relative to angle 41 on the top, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, where, what do we know? And what are we trying to find? O, A, and H. Um, we know the A. Yeah. And what are we looking for? O or, or H. We're trying to find the... Yeah, good. We're trying to find the height of that rock. So it's going to be C, B. H, we don't know, but we also don't care. We can just erase that. So uh, what is this O and A? Tan. tan, yes. So tan 41 is equals to the opposite CB divided by the adjacent 80.46. And we can multiply the denominator on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. Tan 41 um, times 80.46. So CB, the height of the cliff is 70 meters. And you were done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so even though it's a 3D triangle, Nothing changes, absolutely nothing changes. You just attack the side that they both have in common and it's just a Soka Toa or a sine law, cosine law problem. That makes sense? Uh -huh. so let's look at eight. What's the plan of attack for this question? We're trying to find the height. Actually, let's do it because I don't think we've done this. And this is not going to be easy, is it? No, it's not. 
I thought we did this now. This is different. Because last time we we're trying to find that 30. In this question, they have given us the 30 and they're asking us to find the height. Start labeling this, right? Um, so A, call this B, C, D. So we're trying to find B, C equals what, right? Mm -hmm. If you look at the triangle on the right, do we have any side lengths in the right angle triangle? No. No, so we cannot start on that triangle. What about on the left? We do have a you side have length. 30? Yeah. yeah, you have 30, so. So you wanna start up on, with a triangle that has at least a side length. So what do we do with that 30? What's the plan of attack here? In order to find BC, we must find something else first. BD? Yes, correct, BD. Now, how do we find BD using the triangle on the left? Um. Do you find like the angle B? Because then you have a pair. Uh, yeah, we could try that. Um, is it like 51? How did you get that? You just subtract from 180. Um, angle B would probably not be 51. Cause if you sub, if you sub, what did you subtract? Like 41 and 90. Oh, so you found this one. Um, no, that won't help you because that's on the uh, triangle on the inside, right? You want to find this B. You want to find angle ABD, not DBC, but ABD. How would you do that? Um, you can find it, right? So if this is 41, what's this going to be? Oh, um... 139? Yeah, 139. So if this is 139, that's 133. What's the small angle going to be up top? Um, eight? Yes, right? Eight. So there we go. We have that angle B, and you see ang this angle and this side is opposites, right? So we have a mm -hmm. pair. So this is going to be a sine law problem, right? Mm -hmm. A sine law problem. So we are trying to find side length BD. How do we set this up using sine law? And how do you know it's, it's sine law? Because we have a pair. We have an angle and its side length pair on the triangle on the left. So 30 over sine 8? Yes, 30 over sine 8 is equals um, to BD, yeah? BD, this line, over? Sine 33, no? Uh -huh. 33 and it's opposite side length BD. Do you understand that? Don't worry too much about the ABCs in the formula because this is redundant, right? This is all these letters are redundant. What that basically means is that you want to do the side length over its angle. Because it, it may okay. not be ABC all the time. It could be X, Y, Z, it could be something else. So in order to solve this for BD, we are going to multiply both sides by sine 33. 30 divided by sine 8 times sine 33 gives us BD is 117.4. Okay. Using this information, how do we find H? So again, we can erase everything else. We know this is going to be 117.4. Um, you either use cos or sine? No, you can only use one. We're trying to find H. 
Um, Using the triangle on the right. Cos? No, cos gives you the adjacent. Cos would give you the 31, right? Because we know this angle. Oh. So cos would give you the adjacent. Cos doesn't help us here. We need to use sine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sine 41 is going to be the opposite, which is h divided by 117.40, the hypotenuse of the triangle, right? Uh -huh. Multiply both sides by 117.40. So sine 41 times 117.40, and that gives us a height of 77 meters. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So again, it's a two triangle problem. Start with a triangle that you can work with. We know in this question, we absolutely cannot do anything with a right angle triangle. So that means we must start on the left triangle, yeah? Mm -hmm. If they give you something like this, you automatically have all three angles. All three angles and one side length is sine law. Or if you have a pair, it's a sine law. That one's easy. I'll start doing this. There's two triangles, PQR. So PQR, and that's similar with triangle KLM, yeah? What do we know? We know PQ is four, and we know KL is six, correct? Mm -hmm. What's the scale factor? Um, How do we get the big triangle from the scale, smaller one? Um, you divide it and you get 1.5. Yes, so scale factor K is 1.5. That's correct, though. Now look at this. We know the area of this is 12. The question is, what's the area of this? But we don't know any of the side lines for this one to find the area. Mm -hmm. But there is a relationship between the areas that uses the, the scale factor K, OK? Mm -hmm. The area of the bigger triangle is equals to the area of the smaller triangle times k squared. OK. OK. Because in this triangle, we can't solve it. And we don't know what the base is or the height. We don't know what the area is. So the only way to do this is to use this relationship. The areas are related by the square root of the k. So the area of the bigger triangle is going to be the area of the smaller triangle 12 times k squared, like this, OK? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be 12 times 2.25, and that is 27. And you're done. Cool? OK. Yeah, so this, I don't know if we've done this before, but yeah, the areas are related by the k factor, which it which is easy than having to do or having to find the base times. In this question, it's impossible to find it. That's the only thing you could possibly do. Hmm, this one looks very, very interesting. So two boats left Hamilton Harbor at the same time. One traveled at 10 kilometers at a course of 47. So I don't know why we need a protector, but one of them went here. And the other, and this one went, um, in this direction. Actually, no, it went at 79. So it's going to look something like this, right? It's it's going to be an A as triangle within a triangle. So that's 47. And the other one went in this direction. And this bigger angle is 79. After 45 minutes, how far apart were they? 
So if this one goes at 10 kilometers an hour, after 45 minutes, how far does he travel? Remember this, 45 minutes is three, three fourths of an hour. Yeah, like how 30 minutes is half an hour, 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour, okay? Mm -hmm. So in 45 minutes, the guy who was traveling 10 went 7.5 kilometers, okay? So this side okay. length here is 7.5. And the other one goes at eight times 3.4. So this side length here is six. Cool. Uh -huh. What's the angle here? If the whole thing is 79, the small thing is 47. Like all together? No, 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 no. The, the smaller angle between them. So if the big angle is 79, the smaller angle is 47, what's going to be this one? It's going to be a difference, right? It's going to be mm -hmm. 79 minus 47. It's going to be 32, OK? OK. So our new triangle looks like this. This is 7.5. This is 6. This is 32. How do we find this? Sine law, cosine law, Sokotoa. Um, First of all, it's not a soka toa. There's no, we don't know if any of them are 90 degrees. Step two, do we have a pair? No. No, we don't. It must be a cosine law problem. Okay? Okay. So that kind of eliminates it through the power of elimination. So you can say this is C, C, A, B. And look at the formula. C squared is equals to A squared plus b squared minus 2ac and cosine of, uh, sorry, 2ab cosine of c. And that one, we can just plug that in a calculator and that'll give us the distance. Minus two times six times 7.5 times cosine 32, square root of this guy. And the distance between them is four kilometers. Final answer. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. This was again, another two triangle question, right? Like let's say this angle is 80 and then the bigger, the whole whole angle is 80, okay? The whole angle is 80. And then you have this angle is 10. What's gonna be this angle in here? You subtract? Yeah, you subtract, so it'll be 70, right? Mm -hmm. So there we go. We had two right angle triangles, the smaller one on the bottom and the bigger one, the overall one. What we did is we split it up into a triangle that's not even a right angle. And then we use the cosine law. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Uh -huh. All right, let's call it a day there. All right, bye. Thank bye -bye. you.